projects that used to take three months, they've now been able to knock down to as little as two days in some cases with Albert. Can you walk us through what's actually happening there to create that kind of speed up? You've got one iteration of how do you go from an idea to something where you have data and generally it's a failure. So you do multiple iterations there. And so our goal is to reduce the time per iteration and collapse the number of iterations down to as few as possible. And if we can do those two things, then science gets faster. And so in that example, I think each one of their iterations previous to Albert maybe took, you know, three or four days, right? And so then generally they run 10 iterations or so, and it's a couple of month long project that they'd have to run, right? With Albert, because we are able to collaborate easier, they can collapse that down to maybe a two day iteration or maybe a one day iteration. And then because we can layer the AI on top of their historical data, we can start to recommend the experiments that the scientists can go run that give the highest information density per experiment. And that sounds a little weird maybe, but it's like, that's the point of science. When you run something, you want to be on the bleeding edge. How do you get the most information to inform the next experiment? Right? Learn as much as possible. Yeah. Per exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so if yeah. you do that, then you can take two iterations instead of 10. And so if you collapse the time for iteration, you go from 10 to two. Now you're at two days and you've launched a product or you've gotten a product that is now commercially viable, which is super, super exciting. Wow.